to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Central Europe here in Hungary. I hope everybody has had a great week and is looking forward to a fantastic weekend. In this class, we are looking at task two writing. We started this yesterday, the planning, the thesis, and today we're going to write the full essay ending on a band nine score. Hi, Nishant. Hi, Birendra. This is a members chat class. Of course, everybody is welcome to watch. It's a good idea to watch. And uh, we will have an all chat class coming up in 90 minutes that will be focusing on the reading section. Hi, Pavan. Uh, to become a member of our channel, just click the join button next to the subscribe button. If you don't see that, uh, just send me an email uh, with any other question you might have about the IELTS or our products to adrian at aehelp.com. Hi, Ferdovs, Rajveer, Victor, Maksud. Nice to see our members joining in. Students, this material is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Please visit us there for the general IELTS. Check us out at G ieltshelp.com on both of our websites we have lots and lots of materials to help you improve and pass the IELTS exam this is our academic website here at aehelp.com with a blue background you can click that big red button to join us there the camera decided to have a little bit of a snooze just give me a second here students and I'll start it up again Error code 70 on Canon, if anybody knows what that means. Let's hope that a restart will fix that issue nice and quick. Hi, David. Hi, Carolina. Hi, Abhishek. All right. Not a problem. Life is all about meeting challenges, finding solutions, students, and that's a big part of the IELTS exam. Um, here we go. So, again, this is the academic version of our website. Click that big red button to join now. And the general version, same kind of layout, but with a green background, you can click that big red button to join us there. Okay, so um, let's get into our task two members. I know you're anxious about it. It was quite an interesting question that we were looking at yesterday. Uh, this is the original question that we were uh, looking at. Uh, you should spend 40 minutes on this task. It is common these days to pay for services and products with personal information like email addresses and shopping locations, especially online, rather than money. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of, of this and give your own opinion. Thank you, Barandra. That's my daughter when she was just a wee little baby back in 2016. Okay, we paraphrased that question. We came up with some vocabulary. We started to think about it a, a bit more deeply or deeper. And uh, we identified the topic as the means of payment. So methods, modes, means of payment. Uh, and the controlling ideas as the advantages and disadvantages of paying with personal information rather than money, and of course, our own opinion within that frame. Okay, so uh, we talked about why we pay with personal information and why companies enjoy getting paid with uh, personal information, and we came up with our thesis statement. Now, my thesis statement was similar to uh, many of yours, which was great. Uh, when you're practicing task two essays in a class, students or in partners, uh, come up with your thesis statements individually and then compare them and discuss them. That's really good practice for developing ideas and also for learning the best ways to generate a thesis statement. Okay, so it's really good practice to do that, especially if you're in a classroom, okay? So if you're in a classroom, it's a great way to improve is to compare and discuss thesis statements. So I highly recommend doing that or in study groups, okay, if you're in study groups. Okay, um, so 
A uh, bit of the homework uh, yesterday was to come up with the hook and the background. Uh, members, now's your time to share that with me. So uh, please share your hook statements for this essay. Bavik, welcome. Almost perfectly on time. It's great. Okay. All right. Uh, Maksud says these days purchasing with personal data has become more popular than ever before. Maksud, that's good. It includes the topic. Um, it's interesting. It's a fact. It works. Okay, that's good. Uh, Begjan says one of many methods of payment these days is with personal information. Again, good. It's a different take, Begjan, than Maksud, but another fact that's true that most of us recognize. It catches the reader's attention. Very good. Uh, Rajvir says modes of payment have evolved significantly in the past couple of Decades. Very good. Um, you're starting to realize that using the topic in the introduction in the hook is a really good idea. It's a very quick and easy way to get a good hook statement on paper or on the computer. Okay. Abhishek says nowadays, due to technology flourishing, there are multiple options for payment. Okay. So Abhishek, you have the concept of payment in there as well. Good. Carolina, nowadays, millions of people exchange value for a product or service around the world every minute. Okay, careful with your um, word forms, Carolina. Not exchanged, but exchange. It's active. It's general. It's true now. So we're using the present tense. Okay, um, not values, but value. Values has a different meaning in its plural form, Carolina. Uh, values are like your belief systems, okay? My core value uh, or values, sorry, my core values include um, respect, uh, love for other people, okay? So those are the core values, all right? So careful, Carolina, with word form, okay? Can really change the meaning of what you're saying. Also, Carolina, make it shorter. Notice how the other hooks are quite short. Um, out of the ones that are just before and just after your hook, uh, they're all just two lines uh, for me anyway. In the, um, in the chat, yours are three, okay? So a hook, Carolina, try to keep it to 10 words, okay? 10, 12 words, right? Ferdov says, nowadays, personal data costs an arm and a leg. Mm, okay, it's interesting for Dobbs. I think it's a bit strong or it's a bit, okay, but it, 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 can, it can work. It can work for Dobbs. You can make that work. Uh, Pavan says, picking up a mode of payment is challenging these days. Um, not picking up, Pavan, careful. Okay, prepositions can uh, really affect coherence if they're used in an awkward way. So Picking a mode of payment is challenging these days. Just that one little word or those two little letters, Pavan, the UP, the up, make it really awkward, okay? Uh, David, I can tell already just from looking at it with one glance that it's a really long hook, okay? Keep your hook shorter, all right? David says the modern marketing market has evolved drastically during the last years. The currencies now include valuable information provided by potential clientele. Confusing, David. Simplify. Be concise. Okay. Victor, nowadays people have different methods of payment. Yeah, that's good. It's clear. It's to the point. I like it. Uh, Ois says, uh, historically, individuals pay specific value for their goods and services, but nowadays can purchase without charge sometimes. Oh, is take out the exclamation mark, take out the sometimes. We generally don't shout in essays, especially academic essays. So uh, avoid exclamation marks, avoid questions with question marks, okay? Um, and simplify, okay? Otherwise, it's not bad. It's a little bit general, OS. You want to be a bit more specific. Uh, Sammy says, nowadays, most of the most shopping is connected through our personal data. That works, Sammy. So nowadays, most shopping is connected through uh, our personal data. Uh, don't use our, Sammy, use people's or shoppers, okay, or uh, customers, so we don't repeat shoppers. So I would write, Sammy, nowadays, most shopping is connected through customer data, customer's personal data, okay? All right, so looking good, guys. Um, Nick Hill... Uh, 
uh, too general, okay? Barendra, that's good. Rashika, too general, okay? Hassan, uh, okay, let's see where you go with it, Hassan. It could be okay, but you have to be careful not to go off topic, all right? Okay, so um, here we go. Here's my hook. Um, I'll just share my background with you as well. I'm sure some of you have written some good backgrounds. Just compare it with me. Um, we're not going to worry about sharing backgrounds uh, right now through the chat because we're going to uh, put more time into the body paragraphs and the conclusion today. Okay, so we're going to move along nicely today and I'll bounce around with different uh, sentences from our members. So here we go. This is my introduction that I uh, typed up after class yesterday. So payment systems and mediums have been changing for centuries. Okay. Uh, so a long, long time ago, we used to just say, here's my chicken, uh, or here's three of three chickens. Uh, give me a cow. Um, okay. And then, um, we said, uh, here's a chunk of gold. Uh, give me that horse. Um, so, uh, payment systems and mediums have been changing for centuries. Okay. It's a fact. It's clear. The reader probably starts thinking, what? Payment systems changing throughout the centuries? Sure. Uh, and then I cut from, so from a brief fact about history of payment systems and mediums, I cut right into today. Okay. So today there are several widely accepted means of payment, including precious metals, commodities, fiat, and private information, all of which have perceived value for retailers. So notice here, I'm giving my definition. So I'm defining a method of payment as precious metals, commodities, fiat, private information, which have value for retailers. So for people selling products and services, retailers, right? So that's my definition. So I'm bringing my reader into the understanding of what this essay will be talking about, right? Um, simply, I'm defining the topic, the payment method, okay? And then I start talking more specifically about the type of payment method that we're targeting here, so getting more into the controlling idea. Uh, it is extremely important to be certain of the true cost the customer is paying. Okay, so why are we talking about payment systems? Why are payment systems important? Well, when I ask myself this and when I think about my own life and the way I use different payment systems, credit, uh, paper money, uh, trading a comic book with one of my friends, of course, what I'm thinking about is, am I getting value? So am I losing, am I winning, or is it a fair trade? right? This is the true cost of goods or services that we exchange for, right? So I think for all people, it's very important to have a clear idea of the true cost that we as the customer are paying to the retailers, okay? So that's why it's important to discuss the concept of chain or exchanging personal data with retailers, okay, or with businesses, all right? And then, of course, my thesis. So put together, I'm going from a general fact regarding the topic that catches the reader to a specific definition of our topic to the importance of discussing our topic and then the specific contents around the controlling ideas of the topic to be discussed in the body paragraphs. Is that clear? Is everybody with me? I'm going to read this. Okay, so that you see it all put together. So payment systems and mediums have been changing for centuries. Today, there are several widely accepted means of payment, including precious metals, commodities, fiat, and private information, all of which have perceived value for retailers. It is extremely important to be certain of the true cost the customer is paying. Benefits of exchanging personal data for goods and services are monetary savings and up-to-date information. However, the deficits are a loss of time and identity. I personally believe that it is better to pay with money and keep private information private whenever possible. OK, 
Okay, so that would be regarded uh, university level writing, developing the answer in the introduction and showing very clear path for the essay. Okay. All right, and I can see that the members are saying, yeah, that okay, that makes sense, right? That makes sense. So um, it's not a template, of course, as many of you know, uh, how to answer an alts question. It is the standards of good essay writing taught in literature class, okay? All right. Okay, uh, so let's get into our body paragraphs. Okay, so this is where we're gonna move along nicely. I'm gonna try to catch about two, three people for each of these components. So try to be fast getting out uh, your answers, okay? Really work on fluency this time too, members. So don't overthink it, all right? So we have um, one, which is starts with the topic sentence. Okay, and the topic sentence should be a deeper definition of point one in the thesis which in this case is the positives of saving money and getting updates. Okay, so I'm going to keep it simple like that. So give me a deeper definition of exchanging personal data, the positive sides of this, uh, saving money and getting updates. What does that mean? So what does it mean that if I say, okay, you can access my personal data, you can access my photos on my phone, have my email, um, and I can use your service. Thank you so much. That's fantastic. Um, what does it mean that uh, the benefits of that are I save money and I get updates? So give me a nice response for that, okay? Beckton says, buying commodities and services with the help of private information enables clients to decrease the cost by half, which in turn also leads to daily updates. Okay, back John, I think we have some missing ideas there. Okay, it's, um, it's a little bit unclear. I think you need to be a bit more, um, I think you need to be a bit closer to what point one is actually saying. So try to, try to do it a bit differently. Not bad, okay. Um, Carolina says, uh, selling personal data can provide goods and free services, can provide good deals and free services. Okay. Um, yes, Carolina, I think you're on the right track. I think with a couple of more words, a little bit more ideas, it would be a very, very good um, topic sentence, but I definitely think that it's solid. Okay, so it's a band seven, I would say, Carolina. Uh, let's see. Good, and I can see that many of you are getting out your ideas faster now. That's great. Uh, Rajveer says the positive sides of shopping and pro with private data is that it enables individuals to save a couple of hundred dollars and provides them the latest information about products and services. Okay, that's very good, Rajveer. That's what we're looking for, right? So, Okay, one more. Ferdov says, giving personal data, people can save 20% of items and can be aware of the latest scoop, which is valuable these days. Um, Ferdov's latest scoop is a bit colloquial, 20%. I think it's a more almost like a explanation example. So you want to be a little bit more on the topic sentence here. Okay, start thinking about the uh, example students. So I'll try to catch different students for the examples to be fair to everyone. But that means you have to get your responses out quickly, okay? Don't overthink it. So in the real IELTS, you only have 40 minutes and I do want to push you to work on writing fluency, okay? So everybody get your sentences out for the explanation while I write the topic uh, sentence, okay?
All right. So this is my uh, topic sentence. The perceived benefits of giving up personal data in exchange for services and merchandise are not needing to pay with credit or debit and providing companies the opportunity to notify shoppers of sales and upgrades. Okay. All right. So let's see what you come up with for your explanation. So what do you mean I don't need to pay? Okay. So explain this. Now, remember, the explanation is not the specific example yet. Okay. All right. Um, Oa says when people, let me just get back there. I, I love the speed that you're coming up with these answer now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it says when people pay for their needs with personal info, they are saving money to uh, cover their needs and wants. Okay, Oh, so I think that's your topic sentence. I'm going to try to scan for the explanations. Uh, to make my uh, job a little bit easier, members, um, please just uh, in brackets uh, before you write, um, especially since we're going a bit faster, um, just write the words like Carolina did. Um, and Carolina, you don't need to do it that detailed. Uh, just do like topic. You can just go top like that. Okay. For the explanation, you can just go exp like that. And then, uh, of course, for the example, which will be coming up, you can just go X like that. And then I'll know what I'm reading before I start reading it. And that will be more sensible. We'll all make a uh, more progress and more sense of it. Okay, so can you please do that for me so we can be a little bit more efficient? Okay. All right. Uh, Berenger says sharing personal data like name, email address, and phone number, people can get good deals with no cost. That helps people to fulfill their needs and wants. Okay, Berenger, not bad. Take out the word, etc. Okay, don't include the word, etc. All right. Sammy says, while giving uh, customers personal information, they get updates through messages and emails about the company's latest products and offers uh, like uh, clearing sale or season ending sales. Okay, Sammy, that's a good explanation. Uh, so that's on how they get updates or upgrades, right? Uh, Berendra, you don't need to write that. So in the real exam, you don't need to write these. This is just for our class, okay? Please don't do that. The IELTS examiner will not know what that is, and they'll actually mark that as some kind of mistake, okay? Um, so don't do that, okay? Don't, don't tell the examiner. Uh, this is just for us because there's so many of us working together here. Uh, Victor says, websites um, get a person's uh, data such as emails, locations, and can send advertisements about their latest products. Okay, good. So everybody's writing about that. Make sure to also explain what you mean by not needing to pay with credit or debit. Okay. So I'm going to start writing the explanation, and then I'll look back. I'll try to catch a couple more explanations um, before we get to the example. Okay, so this would be mine. Um, Okay, so this is my explanation here. Okay, 
So many mobile applications, uh, maybe I'll add a little bit more here. And websites. Like gaming and video streaming offer the option of either paying a few dollars or giving personal data such as emails let's pay attention to punctuation such as emails in order to use their products once they have personal information they can push advertisements and updates to the user okay um, all right, so that's my explanation of how we can uh, save money um, and uh, get upgrades or updates, okay? Uh, Carolina says, individuals give their private information like email and locations when they want to purchase an item or a service, often on the internet, because it seems to save a lot of money. It seems to be convenient, okay? Uh, Carolina, not bad, but it's a bit general. It's a bit of a repetition of what we already have in the introduction. So name the companies, right? Like websites or um, stores in shopping malls. So try to be a little bit more specific. You're always looking to be more and more specific as you move down the essay. Okay. All right. Uh, Beck John says, when individuals give their personal info, purchasing products, the companies get details of their clients to not only give them discounts on products, but also send up-to-date information uh, through the computer. Okay, Beck John's still a, it's kind of the same as Carolina. It's a bit repetitive to the introduction, so you want to be a little bit more, a little bit more specific. Okay, so... Notice how here I'm giving that. So you would think, okay, that's an, exp uh, that's an example, but this is not an example yet. This is still just an explanation. Um, what would be an example of this? So uh, give me uh, an example of this kind of uh, exchange or payment method. Many mobile applications and websites like gaming and video streaming offer the option of either paying a few dollars or giving personal data such as emails, in order to use their products. Once they have this information, they can push advertisements and updates to the user. Or if I want to have a bit more lexical resource here, I would change this to client. Okay, um, what's an example of this, all right? So Sammy says, last month I got an offer on Make My Trip. They provided a couple of tours to Amsterdam for 50% for anniversary since we, they had my wedding data. Exactly, so that would be a specific example, okay? Uh, since I paid with our wedding data, our wedding information, photos, date and time, who was there. Yeah, absolutely, Sammy. That's a good example, all right? Um, you can make this up, of course. So think of, and you probably don't have to. There's so many examples of this uh, these days um, where, you just give your personal information. I can think of one or two that most of us use where we really don't pay for anything. We're just giving them our personal information. Think about the big ones. There's a couple of really big ones that most of us use, okay? Hint, hint, all right? Don't overthink it. Uh, Always says, last week when I visited Amazon, I found Oxford Dictionary without charge. Uh, just required to fill out an application which included my email address zone and my opinion about Amazon shopping. Yeah, always, there you go. Uh, remember too, students, uh, a lot of you are coming up with some quick examples, so you can always think of the example first and then build it out uh, to the explanation, so online shopping sites, and then build it out to the topic sentence. So when you're thinking about your body paragraph, you can think topic sentence to example, but you can also turn it around. So if you're having uh, difficulty um, putting together your body paragraph, think of your example first. Like think of what you thought of their OS and Sammy and go from there backwards, okay? Okay, so David says, my cousins uh, provided information uh, about their friends to FIFA Monthly and they gave them packets of footballers uh, for 
the game. Yeah, that's that's interesting one, David, where they're actually mining our friends information through us as well these days. Okay. All right. Yeah, those are good. Um, I'm scanning to see if anybody hit one of the big, big players or the biggest players. Okay. There's one site that many of us use where we don't pay money and it's incredible how much we're, we do with it for not having to pay. It's there we go. David's like Facebook. Think about how much we use Facebook and you never really pay a single dollar to Facebook. That's incredible. Okay. Uh, YouTube is that way. Muxud says, A hey, help. A little bit, a little bit, Muxud. Yeah, we, have, we play the game a bit. I'm not going to lie to you. Absolutely. Okay. Um, it's because people think everything should be free online. And that creates the most expensive type of commerce personal information. Yeah. So, uh, but Facebook, definitely the uh, giant um, in the room. So, um, in fact, I use video chat storage and other functions on without ever having a, a single just by simply giving them rights to analyze and use all of the personal assets that I upload in this way I can also stay informed about and products. Okay. Yeah. So that would be my example of exchanging uh, personal information to get free service and updates. I think uh, I think that's great. Janiel says, in other words, around six months ago, I purchased IELTS course on ahelp.com. I signed up with my email and used the discount code, which saved me $5. Yeah, so Janiel, but there you're exchanging money too, right? So that's a little bit different. Uh, think about services where it's basically purely free, okay? Berendra, you're very, very welcome. Okay, so this is my example. In fact, I can use video chat storage and many other functions of Facebook without ever having to pay a single dollar just by simply giving them rights to analyze and use all of the personal assets that I upload. In this way, I can also stay informed about my friends and products, right? Okay, so don't overthink it. Okay, don't overthink it. All right, uh, connective sentence, keep it simple. So let's just go connecting sentence, connecting or concluding sentence, con. Okay, we'll keep it really simple here. So give me the connecting sentence, the con. Okay. Again, write quick. This should be very quick. You should be able to, many of you have great English, so there, you should be typing it already as I'm speaking. Uh, Rajveer, my voice is crackling. Is it crackling for anyone else? If it is, let me know while you write up your connecting or concluding sentence. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Okay. Okay. I just uh, made an adjustment there. If it's crackling, let me know. Janiel says it's clear. Carolina says it's okay. Yeah, it's hard sometimes, uh, Rajvir, to figure out if it's on my end or on the other end. Okay. Beg, John. Uh, every free service and product, maybe. Okay. This is one of the benefits of paying with personal information. No, Victor, because we're switching to the opposite argument here. Okay, we're switching to the opposite argument here and starting with our own perspective as well. David says, even though the advantages are relevant, the disadvantages uh, include the use of data for... Um, Dark purposes. Dark purposes is a bit awkward, David. I think you're translating there from your own language. Data for 
um, harm, just use harm, David, H-A-R-M, okay? Rajvir says, nevertheless, there are uh, demerits. There are a few demerits of paying through personal information. Okay, that's simple. Rajvir, that'll work. Uh, Bekjan says, nevertheless, every free service and product comes with a price for ordinary people. Okay. All right. Varendra says, taking people's personal data also... Uh, gives up-to-date information about new advertisement. Barendra, you have to rethink that. It's got grammatical mistakes, language use mistakes, so rethink that, okay? So Sammy says, although there are some advantages to providing uh, people's data, this data may be misused, okay? Uh, Ferdov says, however, the drawbacks outweigh the benefits. Okay, for Dobbs, I like it. That's simple, but good. Uh, Rashika, don't start sentences with but. Okay, students, don't, don't use but or and to start sentences. So Rashika says, this system can, instead of but, use however, Rashika. However, comma, this system can affect people's lives negatively. Okay, all right, good. Okay, so concluding connecting sentence, yeah. Nevertheless, these perceived benefits, I used perceived, so I'm going to use these so thought advantages are overshadowed by the hidden negatives of sharing personal information, of paying with personal information. So in great writing, every single word is chosen with purpose, okay? All right, uh, so my uh, body paragraph one is done. I'm going to review it just once quickly and then move on to body paragraph two. So the perceived benefits of giving up personal data in exchange for services and merchandise are not needing to pay with credit or debit and providing companies the opportunity to notify shoppers of sales and upgrades. Many mobile applications and websites like gaming and video streaming offer, let's fix that a little bit, it's an additive clause, offer the option of either paying a few dollars or giving personal data, uh, such as emails, in order to use their products. Once they have personal information, they can push advertisements and updates to the client. In fact, I can use video chat storage and many other functions of Facebook without ever having to pay a single dollar, just by simply giving them rights to analyze and use all of the personal assets that I upload. In this way, I can also stay informed about my friends and products. Nevertheless, these so thought advantages are overshadowed by the hidden negatives of paying with personal information. Okay? Janiel, not outshadowed, overshadowed. Okay? All right, let's get into body paragraph two. Let's do this. So let's move. Uh, I love the speed uh, in the class today, members. So I want you to keep pushing with the same speed, um, maybe even a little bit faster. So body. Two, negatives, get the topic sentence going. Uh, the negatives are going to be, of course, loss of time and identity. Okay, uh, give me some more information about that. I'm going to write my topic sentence. Remember, you just need to write top, so maksud, even simpler, T-O-P. Okay. Uh, Barendra, lots of reading. Okay, read, read lots. I do lots of reading. So lots of reading, lots of writing, and your vocabulary will improve. Okay. So, um,
Okay, so that's my topic. Uh, let's check out what you have. Okay, Maksud says, however, paying with personal data can be a waste of both valuable time and identity, which leads to manipulating human's choice. Very good, Maksud. I like it, okay? Human's choice, make sure you have an apostrophe uh, before the S, okay? And choice with a C-E, C-H-O-I-C-E, not S-E. Otherwise, very good, Maksud. So the information is very good. Oh, it says, people will feel uncomfortable and regret after they leak their private info to companies for free for goods and services. Um, why, OS? That's coming up, I'm sure. It's a good topic sentence, OS, because right away my question is why? <laughs> why will people, people feel uncomfortable? And I think you're going to explain that manipulation and loss of time. So that's great. Okay. All right. Victor says the negatives of paying with personal data is that individuals can waste their time and can be manipulated regarding their choices. Yeah, I love how several of you came up with the concept of choices. It's our choices that are being manipulated, what we choose to do with our time and with our money. Absolutely. Okay, so explain that to me. Give me the explanation. Uh, what is that? Um, I'll, le I'll read my uh, topic uh, sentence here. And you'll see we're very uh, much on the same page so far, okay? So by giving up private information, companies are able to manipulate the customer's behavior, attention, and energy by influencing their decision-making process on a daily basis, okay? So what do you mean? Explain that, right? Okay. How do they do that? Okay. All right, there we go. Let's see what you've come up with. Barendra, I love the speed, okay? So at times, people uh, regret um, when their data is misused for sharing on the internet because no one knows uh, their intentions, okay? Sammy says, sometimes customers get lots of messages and emails and spam in the inbox. And in, in addition, this steals our time, energy, and ideas. Okay, uh, people can be forced to watch ads while checking their emails, be distracted during work hours by phone calls. You're on the right track for Dobbs, very good. Okay, just keep going with that. Beckjohn says, once large enterprises gain human data, they are able to know every action and purchase and keep up-to-date information with their choices. As a result, people are controlled subconsciously. Yeah, so subconsciously. Not unconsciously, but subconsciously. I think unconsciously might work here, Beckjohn. It's a bit argumentative, but anyway, not too important. All right. Um, why? Because they have um, uh, teams of psychologists, sociologists. They have 
let's say psychologists' algorithms Yeah, lots. They have lots of tools going for them, right? So here's a list, okay? Again, well, how am I coming up with that? I'm just thinking about what I have seen uh, in my life uh, through my experiences, what I've read about, what I've seen on the internet. I'm sure many of you have seen that as well, right? That when you give information um, through applications, through software, through the internet, it basically all goes into uh, a giant statistical analytical piece of software that's of course created by experts like psychologists, sociologists, computer programmers, and then they do a profiling, they profile you, what kind of uh, human you are, and they build a model of you, so there's a model Rajveer, there's a model Carolina, there's a model OS, and then based on that model, they can manipulate you subconsciously without you actively thinking about it on how you choose to spend your time with entertainment, with work, with family, with shopping choices, okay? Maybe it's a bit dark. Okay, let me know if it's dark or too bright, students, okay? Rajveer says machine learning algorithms. Absolutely. So Rajveer, when you use that vocabulary, machine learning algorithms, you're going to get lexical um, uh, marks. Okay. So that's why you want to come up, come up with that. Uh, when you have good ideas, it helps you uh, to generate um, good vocabulary. Hassan, exactly like in the Social Dilemma documentary. Exactly like that. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of other... Uh, sources of information, Hassan, that are uh, similar to that documentary. Absolutely. Okay. Well done. Yeah. So, Hassan, if you're thinking about the social dilemma, if you've seen that documentary, you would have no problem writing this essay, right? You just have to go through that, uh, that thought process and write it down. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, there is my explanation. Now, I need to come up with an example, right? And of course here, I'm sure <laughs> that many of you will come up with examples because I think we're all experiencing uh, this uh, on a daily basis, okay? So, um, about a week ago, I'm just making this up, but there are examples of this in my life, and I'm sure many of you have similar. I'm sure many of you have had this, so again, you don't need to think uh, too much about this. All right. Good, Hassan. Good on you for participating. Good on you for putting in that extra effort. Okay. Ferdov says, for instance, if I buy a specific item using my personal data, I will be forced to watch ads for minimum one month. Be more specific, Ferdov. I'm sure you can be even more specific. Okay. Bekjan says, for example, recently I read an article where it was written that Facebook spends $5 billion annually for psychologists and software engineers uh, to tempt as many people as possible. Yeah, Bekjan, I'm sure you're right to use their free services. Okay, that works. Okay. Ois says, last week I received a different call from unknown numbers. Ask me about my bank account and my insurance number. Yeah, and remember, if we can connect our two examples, that's even better. So I use this example about a week ago. I was talking to my friend about mountain climbing, and the next time I turned on, next time, 
and logged into Facebook, I got an ad from the nearest sporting goods store about sales on mountain climbing equipment. Has anybody ever experienced that where you think your phone is just uh, sitting in your pocket and uh, it's uh, dormant or it's not active? You're talking to someone about some topic that you usually don't even talk about. And then half an hour later, you turn on your phone and like magic, there seems to be an advertisement that's exactly connected to what you're talking about, right? I know everybody I've talked to about this has said, yeah, that's happened to me at least a few times in the last month, okay? So, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Carolina says, yeah, they're listening to us. Yeah, they are. They're listening and they're watching it. There's no question, Carolina, I agree. <laughs> Janiel says, at least five or six times a week. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of scary, right? Um, so, yeah, I agree. Okay, so here I'm connecting Facebook, okay? Um, now, uh, remember that uh, we still need our personal opinion, okay? So, personal opinion, and then we'll have the conclusion. And the conclusion, you should include the three points, right? So, um, summary or um, restatement of key points plus argument strengthened okay and the argument strengthened uh, put in the personal opinion or more about the personal opinion and then the take-home message And in the take-home message, um, because the question's asking your, for your perspective, and we're giving that in the thesis as well, this is, again, where you might want to put in a bit of a personal touch or personal opinion. So that's clear in the essay. Okay, so your personal opinion should appear in the paragraph that you support or in the side that you support. And it should appear, again, a little bit in the conclusion, of course, relevant uh, to the essay that you have written. Okay, so I'll leave that for homework and then I'll finish this and have it posted on the YouTube channel over the next uh, few days, over the next while. Okay, so make sure uh, you check on the uh, community posts for this essay, search for it. Um, that's all the time, members, that I have for this class. I really wanted to get to the end of the conclusion, but I feel it would just be a rush at this point. So. But I think everybody has the right, right idea now. So just work on completing the essay, uh, getting it done. Uh, get some feedback. Use the uh, editing services on the website. It's a really, really good idea. Okay? All right. Um, again, for everybody watching, you can uh, get access to all of our materials and services by a, going to aehelp.com and gilshelp.com. Proof is in the pudding, right? You're watching these lessons for free. Uh, so uh, go to ahelp.com, use the paid editing services and the paid uh, premium package to get access to all of our courses. That's right, Rajveer. And I'm not going to lie to you about it. <laughs> all right, students. Hopefully, I will see you in 30 minutes uh, for some reading practice, okay? Uh, I'm Adrian signing out from Budapest for now. Bye.